name is Erin Garber Pearson and I am a circus artist and sculptor. Both my parents are artists and they're both ceramic artists. So I was doing ceramics since I was just like a little kid and I always made you know, sculpture and drew and kind of did everything. My mom told me I was not allowed to be bored. And then I went to undergrad for art, for sculpture, and I started out in ceramics and went into welding and like larger scale sculpture. I also have a graduate degree, a master's in art, and I'm currently pursuing a master's in counseling with an expressive arts focused. Just coming from ceramics, initially I was like, oh, everything's breaking all the time. <laughs> So all of a sudden I could like build bigger without anything breaking and I really uh, when I was in my 20s I just had this extreme love for like the look of metal and then in the last few years I've returned to ceramics and been trying to find ways to incorporate both of them or just do them separately. Um, the ceramics right now more for fun. Getting into circus arts it, I have I had friends that were in it. Eric, my partner, was in it, and I made sculpture for this big show. And um, the director was like, "Hey, do you want to part in it?" And it was like over after that. I was like, "Everything circus, all the time, nonstop." <laughs> <laughs> so I still do it. Uh, I consider myself an aging aerialist now, but I am still very much in it. I owned a circus school for almost 10 years in Ohio. And so it was my whole life for a solid 15 years. And then um, now I'm sort of, I put it slightly on the back burner. I still do it. I love it. There's so much talent here and people that are thinking more on a community level too, there's a lot of that going on. And that is very much part of Feed Your Soul. Like just kind of bringing people together around the arts, but then around like something that we can all participate in, paying it forward with people that don't have the same access or privileges that we do. I love being a part of it so much um, because I need to feel like I'm not just, as a studio artist, that I'm not just just in a studio working in a vacuum, that my work can reverberate out in it's like helping make this world the place that I, I think we as a group envision. It's not just me, I think all of us envision something together, which is like a place where we can support artists and also use that kind of, generate that energy to help other people that are in need. I think it's gonna be a really exciting place to have that event. It's such a grand space and they are bringing in like top of the line artists, both locally and internationally to show work there. They've got the food element, they've got the standard gallery, they've got performance spaces, they've got conference spaces. It's, it's gonna be really cool, I'm excited. Say yes to your community, say yes to participating, say yes to paying it forward. That's what we're doing as artists. We're all working really hard on the back end of it. So if uh, viewers can just show up and participate on their level, it's so appreciated and maybe they wanna get involved further in the future.